let's talk about flat pups. If you've been around cigar box guitars much, uh, you probably have heard about flat pups. These are extremely thin pickups that work out really well uh, for cigar box uh, instruments. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about my line of products, give you a little bit of background, a little bit of history, uh, and uh, let's learn a little bit about uh, flat pups. Um, most of you are probably familiar uh, with typical uh, pickups. Um, and basically they are a, a copper coil of wire uh, with some magnets in the center. And in another video, you can see all about how an electric pickup works. We'll talk about that. Uh, this one happens to be a little uh, three string uh, used uh, pretty often with cigar box. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of thickness there. Uh, so it usually has to be recessed inside the box, but you can see the three magnets there. It's kind of typical. It's uh, This one happens to be a Tele uh, pickup, probably one of the most uh, popular pick pickups of all time. Uh, really nice. This one happens to be a six string and you can see the six string, uh, the six magnets on there. Uh, but a number of years ago, and I think this is going back to the 60s, uh, Gibson had a different idea and they called it the, uh, the Sidewinder pickup. And what they had basically done is where at most time on a pickup, the coil stands this way, and the magnets are down through there. They actually kind of laid them over. I don't have one. I've looked for one for example, uh, for to use as an example. Uh, they're about four or five hundred dollars if you can find an original. Uh, so this is kind of a, a another idea where they basically what they did on their sidewinders is they took the coils, they laid them over on their side, and then they put a steel bar, a piece of steel in between, and mounted the magnets on the top. Uh, I've done some experimenting here. Uh, coming up with uh, my version of the uh, of the Sidewinder. Uh, I get a, basically a piece of steel made. I'm um, using my $5 pickups. I flip them over on the side and I put a magnet in the, in the middle. Uh, kind of a cool idea. We're kind of developing that. But by far, uh, the most popular pickup has been uh, the Flat Pups. And uh, again, kind of the idea of the Sidewinder where uh, we basically lay the coils over on their side uh, there, there's a magnet in the center uh, and they work really, really well. We have in our product line a pretty extensive line of uh, uh, flat pups. Uh, we've made quite a few of them. Started off a number of years ago making just a typical three and four string. We had it in two different versions. Uh, we had the, uh, the, the 2.0 and the 4.0. The idea was at that time that uh, there would be one that would work better near the bridge and one that would work better near the neck. Um, but they both work real well. A lot of people uh, use them, uh, very, very popular. Uh, one of the things you do when you talk about a pickup is uh, they're measured. Basically the design has a magnet and it has one or two copper coils and a lot of very, very, very fine wire wrapped a lot, a lot, uh, a lot of times around the, the, the metal core. And, uh, the way they measure them, or the way we measure them, is by looking at something that's called kill ohms. And I've got this little meter set up here. And if it works out correctly, and I connect this, you'll actually see a reading of about 6.5 kill ohms. Now, sometimes people think that basically the more kill ohms, the better. And that's not necessarily so. There's a lot that goes into uh, the use and the proper installation and uh, making it work with your design. But again, we have uh, a number of products. We came out with the first uh, two flat pups, very, very popular. Then we kind of decided that uh, because I personally really like single coil pickups, I just like that crisp sound. And I know there's some problems with picking up all kinds of noise in them. So what we came up with is the micro pup, whereas this is the standard pickup. This is the micro pup. It's a single coil. Uh, it measures about 2.3 and uh, it's a nice little pickup really, really works out well. Then after I did the three and four string, and then I did the single coil, I said, you know, there's an opportunity here to do some six string pickups. So what I started on was I made a six string version, okay? Made a six string version. Uh, that measures about 8.8. Uh, .8. So a lot of people will say that's a hot pickup. So we did that. Uh, and by the way, on all of these products, we have stamped aluminum covers. 
Uh, and we have them available in aluminum. We have them available in black. We have gold on copper. And then we have antique brass on copper. So for our entire line, we have all of these pickups. Typically, these flat pups are mounted on the top surface. They're out underneath a cover and they're mounted to the surface. The strings are right above them and they work fine. But over the last few years, we've seen more and more people experimenting with what's called ghosting. And what that means is you actually take the pickup and you mount it underneath the lid. So you don't see the pickup on the top. You don't have the cover there, but it's underneath. And because of the way the pickups work and the magnetic lines of force, it'll still do the right job. It'll still do a good job on that. So that's been very popular. So one of the things I said is I'm gonna experiment a little bit and say, maybe if I build a bigger, uh, bigger pickup with more wire and with bigger magnets, uh, it'll be better suited for these ghosting applications. So I came up with what we call the Lucky 13. And this is the Lucky 13. It's basically as big as a six string uh, pickup, uh, but again, it has more wire and more magnet on. And they are really well suited for these ghosting applications. A lot of people are having success with them. So this is our Lucky 13. Now, not to be, uh, not to forget about my like for single coils, I went ahead and made a single coil which is basically just half of a Lucky 13. Only one coil and still has the bigger magnets on there. So this is the Lucky, uh, this is the 0.50. Works really, really well. And again, uh, these are the covers. Uh, every pickup has covers available. You can get them in whatever material you need. When it comes to installation, uh, this one happens to be a six string cover. And let's say we're looking at a, a, a Lucky 13. It's really simple. You just have to install it into the cover, glue it in place. You can use hot melt glue, or you can use E6000. I like to use the E6000. I glue it in there. I'll let it set for uh, a couple of hours and it's a nice solid connection. And again, really important is making sure that you have the magnets facing the strings. Uh, you can see the wire comes out the back side, And then you can see if you look closely on there, you'll see the magnets down the center. And that's the same on all of these pickups. Make sure that the strings, uh, that the magnets face the strings. Uh, so again, there's uh, an installation. Well, that line of product development kind of continues. Uh, I've built a few bases using the Lucky 13 uh, for a four string base. It's just right on the edge of working, but they do work. And so what I've decided to do is now we're gonna have a flat, flat pup it is actually made for bass instruments. So again, just like the rest of the line, it'll have all the covers and all the different uh, finishes. Uh, you'll have bass pickups that are made uh, specifically for the four string basses. Now, as far as uh, you know, how you install these, uh, typically uh, you want to use some type of harness. And so we sell all types of harnesses. Um, what I suggest and tell people is when you're using a typical flat pup, that has the two coils to use the 500K harnesses. But when you're going to a single coil, like the Micro Pup or the 0.50, go ahead and use a, a 250 ohm uh, uh, harness. And that's that'll work real well for you. So we have a lot of people that have different um, skill levels. And uh, what uh, I often hear about is some people just, they can't figure out the soldering and they have a big problem with the soldering. So one of the things we've done is we've made available what we call the RSG line. And that RSG stands for simply ready, set, go. And so this again is a pup. I've got it in a cover. It's glued in place. And then I go ahead and I solder a harness on for you. Now, the neat thing about this is if you use it on a guitar, uh, all you have to do is drill a one inch hole roughly where you want the pickup and you basically just feed the harness through there and then you secure it to the top. So it works out really, really well. So this is the line of our, our flat pups. I'll see you in the next video.